we move from formal requirements to quality criteria. If your project passes the eligibility criteria, then it will be assessed against a number of quality requirements. The relevance of the project. The project will be considered relevant if it corresponds to the specific context of youth work implemented by partner organisations, matches the clearly identified needs of the youth workers who will participate in it, matches the objectives of this subsection, which is the professional development of youth workers. The project should provide plenty of possibilities for the youth workers to learn about what really matters in their work with young people. In this way, better prepared youth workers will increase the capacity of youth work organisations and the quality of youth work. the quality of the project design and implementation. This area outlines the quality of the project structure and the main content. When it comes to project structure, all parts of the project should obviously be logically connected. The aims and objectives of the project should be clearly linked with the identified needs. The aims and objectives should be broken down into an action plan and specific methodology. Preparation, implementation and follow-up of the mobility project should be logically linked to each other. And finally, the budget should be clearly linked to the duration, size of the group and distances travelled. Let's look closer at the quality of preparation. It's the period of time before the actual mobility starts, so before the participants leave home for their international learning journey. However, the preparation is already part of the entire project and should be well planned and implemented. What are the key quality demands for the preparation period? Equal partnership based on ongoing communication and cooperation between partners. Partners are expected to cooperate in working out the detailed content of the activities. They should agree on how participants should be selected, prepared, and what organizational and educational support they might need. The hosting partner, meanwhile, should take care of logistical matters, like venue, food, safety measures and materials for the activity. The hosting partner is also often in charge of making contact with local organisations who might be somehow involved in the activity. Organisers of the activity should involve participants in working out the final content of the project. Organisers should devise tools to make it possible to review participants' learning needs, dietary requirements and any other information which could be important for the preparation stage. The team of facilitators might need to prepare a special info letter or virtual conference, which would allow participants to clarify any questions and get to know the preparatory tasks related to the project. When it comes to implementation, the main focus is on the quality of the methodology. The project should clearly identify how a certain chosen methodology can lead to the achievement of the project's educational objectives and how the methodology corresponds to the participants' profiles and specific learning needs. It is essential that the activity programme is built around educational principles. Organisers should take the following into consideration. Group dynamic. Needs of participants. The balance between methodology and responding to diverse learning preferences. Key Principles of Non-Formal Learning The Quality of Impact and Dissemination The project is not over when the main activity is finished and all participants have left. The expectation is that your project will become known by others and will have an impact beyond the direct group of participants. When preparing the project, you should think about who else could benefit from such a project and in what way. Of course, the greatest impact will be felt by the project participants themselves, but there are also benefits at the organisation level. The impact can reach the young people that a participating youth worker is working with. Depending on the nature of the mobility project, the local community may also feel an impact. Naturally, the better the quality of the project, the greater the impact. When it comes to dissemination of project results, there are various activities that project organisers can carry out to share information and results with the wider community of youth work, beyond the participating organisations. As the projects are funded by public money, the expectation is that others should know about them and be able to benefit from their results. 
The quality of dissemination means that project organisers should choose appropriate communication channels and effective ways of disseminating project results. Organisers should clearly identify stakeholders and target groups in their dissemination plan. Specific dissemination methods should be outlined, illustrating how you will reach the target groups and make an impact. All of this should be well planned and described in the application form. If you wish to learn different ways of disseminating project results, please check the additional resources provided in this section. In order to assess the impact of a mobility project, you need to implement an appropriate evaluation process. A quality evaluation is another criterion which is particularly important for mobilities of youth workers. Any organiser should aim to provide both a formative and a summative evaluation. The formative evaluation is carried out during the activity and it supports the process of learning. The summative evaluation, meanwhile, is usually carried out at the end of activity and at the end of the entire project in order to assess how far the objectives have been reached. Please see the additional resources on evaluation theories and methods.